Good morning, folks. Coming a bit later to you this morning, hopefully you had a chance to see last night's video. Most seemed to like it. Anyway, the only thing to discuss on the sun today was a small flare, surface surge, and possible small CME just right and south of center. None of the wavelengths show anything substantial leaving the corona, as is often the case with these smaller flares, almost like a sideways blowout of the umbral magnetic arcade. It'll be those coronal holes we have to watch for a bit more later in the week if we don't get more eruptions. Quick stop at Antarctica here. The article is about finding new sources of ice loss with all the implications for global warming and the bells and whistles. It is surely noteworthy, however, that more of the continent is gaining ice than losing it, with that red patch known to be where all the submarine volcanoes are going off. Interpret as you will. Eye candy from here on out with Fermi did what's actually pretty hard to do, located the source of certain cosmic rays, especially a super accelerator of protons, discovered in the aftermath of a supernova near a gas cloud where the bow shock crossings and interactions continually energize particles until they reach escape power. Lastly, we'll leave you with comparisons from Hubble to the new James Webb Space Telescope images. Hope you enjoy them. Lots of good links below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support got shots of our star to close, subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 9.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.